Testing with angle probes. First of all, let's create a defect. Defect one. Make that a bit larger. Defect one, a large defect like that on the circumference. I'll give it some length. So here we can see in 3D format defect in its circumferential position. Before we can test this weld and detect this defect we have to calibrate. To remind you to calibrate the angle probe, this is a 60 on the V2, 25 mil radius and 50 mil radius. We're looking for two echoes, set one at 25 the other at 100. Twenty five represents a quarter of the screen width. And 100 is at the end. So total screen distance is 100 millimeters. Reverse the probe to the 25 mil radius. This confirms our echo. We'll increase the amplitude. Click the V2 again to return to the weld. And here we can now detect this defect. I'll increase the amplitude. Now, if I was looking at a part of the weld where there was no defect, we can see the root. The, ec the sound is traveling through the metal and hitting the root, hence this echo here at 40 millimeters distance from the probe to the root. If we look at the weld defect now, that is traveled, the sound to the defect is traveled 10, 20, about 22 millimeters. So 22 from the probe exit point, the emission point, to the defect. Now, we could plot that one out. If we can click the size here, the size button will just reduce the size of the UT set to give us more space. The distance of the echo we've already said is about 22 millimeters. 22 millimeters down here gives us a position of about here. Of course, if we test it from the other side, we could then mark this position. So the total distance between the two echoes is between here and here. We're using a 45. We can sometimes we sometimes pick up well any probe we pick up what we call geometry. There is a good root signal, and we can see some of the cap signal here as well. With a 45 degree, we get a bigger cap signal, and if we rub the cap with our finger we can confirm that this is the cap if it bounces it's bouncing so I'll go back to the 60 degree again there is the good route now what we can put on here is we could go to options, probe I mean, we could go to the probe menu and select color coded display for weld geometry. So now the root will give a yellow signal, the cap will give a magenta signal here, and the defect will give a red signal. So as we move the probe we can see it's yellow here which means the root. I'll drop 
up the amplitude a bit. Uh, we're getting some echoes bouncing up here into the cap. We should be able to damp those. And as we move it into the defect area, the red is indicating the defect position there. And I'll press the home key to go to zero. And I'll press auto scan by pressing the down key. If you can tell me when to stop when we see the defect. Right, we should have said stop there. And of course, this color coded display option is only for the training style, it's not part of the real, real ultrasonic set, but it's useful for training. That's on the probe menu, color coded display geometry.